Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for our again. Uh, let's try to understand what we usually get asked during the you know technical interview. Uh, we are going to you know discuss various questions on different firewalls, different technologies, uh, but one by one. So let's start with the firewall which is called checkpoint firewall. So what I will do, I will discuss every day a single interview question and we'll try to understand in depth why that interviewer ask you that question and what is the you know intention behind it what you want from you and believe me guys these are the questions generally you will get whenever you go for the technical interview for the firewalling or network security so let's begin number one question and very famous question generally we get when we talk about a checkpoint firewall which is what is checkpoint three tier architecture explain what is checkpoint three tier architecture explain checkpoint architecture explain why how checkpoint is different from other firewalls the answer for all these questions is same let's try to understand Checkpoint firewall works in three tier. Number one tier is your smart console. Number two tier is your smart management server. And number three tier is your security gateway. Smart console, security management server and security gateway all are interlinked interconnected they are interconnected in a such a way that without this arrangement the work on the firewall the load the traffic and everything without this arrangement will not work let's understand how so smart console is your application which you install on your PC whatever the work station you are going to use the smart console will be your friend in terms when you want to you know write something into the firewall so whatever the GUI, whatever the different you know functions which we have into the checkpoint firewalls, those functions you going to see in smart console application. So basically, smart console is going to be installed into your workstation now that smart console application need to connect to your security management server which having the functionality to whatever you are going to put from the smart console say for example you are going to create an object you are going to create say uh, different subnets you are going to create a different policies all will be going to be created using smart management server basically smart console give you the overall picture but you want to implement something you have to use smart management server so smart console going to connect to your smart management server and whatever different things you going to write you will be going to write onto the smart management server then the third tier comes which is security gateway in security gateway 
whatever policies, objects, different things you write on to the management server, you will be pushing to the security gateway. So basically whatever the traffic load going to filter pass is not from the smart console or smart view management not from the smart console or security management server the traffic going to be passed from the security gateway so using smart console application and security management server you are creating a frame but that frame need to be get push into the gateway so that whatever the different things you have defined into the security gateway going to come into the picture so whatever the different things you have defined into the security management server using the smart console application will come into effect when that thing push to the security gateway so all this thing all these three things smart console security management server and smart and security gateway need to be interconnected so that your firewalling entire architecture completes so using smart console you are going to write the application using smart management server you are going to have all this application to be get push to the security gateway and from the security gateway those things come into the picture this is what the three tier architecture of the checkpoint firewall and these three tiers get connected using the function or a feature called SIC called secure internal communication basically your management server and security gateway those get interconnected using one time password which we call SIC there is different you know encryption methods used over there to encrypt those password communication between the security management server and the gateway is happened when only when there is a SIC secure internal communication established between your management server and the gateway and your smart console that will be connected to the security management server via the IP address of your management server provided whatever the route reaching to this management server is clear all right I hope this point is clear to you and I hope Whenever you get a question like explain the three tier architecture of the checkpoint firewall, you are going to be explaining all those things. So guys, thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.